let's take a look on how you can get ranked on the first page in Fiverr. In this video, I wanna go over, uh, since I have already recorded a video like this and it drove a lot of attention, a lot of speculation that uh, some things, you know, people like it, some things they didn't like it. And I'm recording this video because it's not that I know an insider information about how the algorithm works, but it's based on my observation, based on my experience, based on what I'm seeing with my gigs and how they're performing. And at the same time, I do have sellers, friends who are also on Fiverr, who are uh, at the top of the rank as well in the search and you know, basically making a living on Fiverr. So of course I can see what is happening and I can make certain predictions and certain analyzation based on the situation. So first of all, I wanna go over the gigs that I have and kind of like give you some sort of information of you know, what is happening with my stats. And at the same time you can see, um, and I will tell you how I was ranking and where I was ranking, right? So the first gig, I wanna take a look at this gig, which is a social media content creator. So this gig was actually recently on the first page of Fiverr in the best selling. And I'm gonna go over now and show you. And recently, like pretty much, so it was in the best selling in the first page for a whole week, and then it went on the second page, right? So basically, um, went off the first page. And I wanna show you what happened on the traffic results, impressions, and things like that. So this is the first gig. When we go into my gigs, and we actually go into this gig, so this is how the stats are looking so far. So you can see here, pretty much, I was uh, going on the first page, I was getting more traffic, right? And then a few days ago, I just left the first page, I'm on the second page at the moment, and you can see the traffic dropped. Of course, you can feel it. What I mean by the first page is when you go, in my case, it's a digital marketing, uh, social media marketing category. I'm currently going in incognito because if you're going with uh, your current uh, browser when you're logged in, it's gonna show a bit different results. And even if some sellers have blocked you, you're not gonna see their gigs, which actually happened in my case. I'm not sure why, maybe because of the video I recorded or anything like that. Okay, so we are on the first page in the best selling. We are seeing the gigs here. Of course, when you make it to the first two lines, this line, this line, you're probably gonna get the most traffic. Also, I wanna give you this sort of um, hint. When you appear on the first or second line, just remember like this gig and this gig, right? When we go to the second page right now, you will see these gigs most likely there, not always, but sometimes it will show like the duplicate of those gigs. So for example, this one, 443, let me just double check. Uh, this one, yeah, you can see this gig right here on the first page, and then when I go back, and I think this one as well, this this, this gig is, is also there. When I go in the second page, I'm seeing the same, I'm seeing the same, um, this, I think this is a different, but yeah, this might be the same. But then we have the, oops, I think it actually changed recently. Um, let me just go here, surely. Yeah, so we actually can see her here. So that's how the search works, right? So you have, even if we look at, and this is how it happened in my case as well, I was on the first page in the first two lines and then suddenly I see myself on the second page the same, it's like duplicates, right? This is one of the things that I'm seeing with the Fiverr, which is a bit weird, yes. Uh, this is might be intended or not, but this is how it works. If you make it to the first two lines, you will see your gig even on the second page, which gives you extra traffic. The other thing I wanna uh, show you, so what has happened in my side? What I've noticed from my gig? From my gig, I haven't really noticed like much, yes, I didn't get a lot of reviews, let's say, uh, and maybe not much of the private feedbacks, because if you know that when, the, when you deliver an order, client can leave you public feedback, right? And after he leaves you or she leaves you the private feedback, uh, public feedback, Fiverr is asking for private feedback. Private feedback, it's only seen by to Fiverr and the buyer and it's meant to really affect your gig ranking, right? So if the buyer leaves you a five-star public feedback, but then it goes and says that mm, this gig didn't really perform as it should, uh, 
maybe he will be satisfactory, your gig is gonna go down in search. This is logical, this is something that they have. Uh, of course, we don't know exactly by how much it's gonna decrease, but what we know, what I'm seeing that they are re-indexing gigs quite often, right? And then when they re-indexing gigs, they look at these factors. For example, they have a frequent re-indexing. So I see that at least once a week, they have like a big re-index, right? So like, let's say you get ranked at the top, you're probably gonna stay there for a week in the first, let's say, page. And then in the end of the week, let's say on Sunday, there will be like major re-indexing. And then they're gonna look at your past week and if you have enough private feedbacks, if you have enough feedbacks, if you have orders in queue, your gig probably will stay there. If not, you're gonna go down, right? That's how I'm seeing the surges working. And of course, we'll never know, we'll never know the right answer for that, but that's what I can see because I'm getting um, high traffic as well on my gigs. Like this is a smaller gig, but for example, if we take a look at the bigger gig I have, which is the Grove, this one, you can see, so I was pretty consistent in the first page as well. And now I went on the second page here. So when I go to the second page, I'm going to be, let's just double check. Uh, I'm going to be right here. Let's see where I am, if I'm still there. Yes, so you can see I'm right here, currently on the second page. Um, and then when I go to the second page, that was actually a few days ago, you can see the gig went to the pretty much down, right? Okay, the first page and the best selling is not the major factor. It's not the only factor that will play a role in your ranking, right? Because you also have uh, keywords. For example, if you go to Instagram, let's say growth, right? We can see what sort of gigs we're gonna see first, right? And at the same time, if you are subscribed to the Seller Plus, actually there is none of my uh, gigs, but let's type Instagram and just see what is happening here. So we can see similar gigs that we've seen on the first page, uh, similar gigs. There is gig my right here. There is another gig I have, and uh, there is an another gig I have. So three gigs here in the in the, in the first page. So when you go to the actually, if we go into the our let's say geek performance, or we can go into top keywords and just scroll through. So we can see here kind of like what is happening with the with my gig here, right? So I'm seeing my main gig, which is a professional growing Instagram account, and I'm looking at what actually brought their attention, which keywords play the role. This is some feature that you have in Seller Plus. I wouldn't say like it's the most useful thing, but it gives you some data, it gives you some data, gives you some, I do believe Seller Plus is actually beneficial. I have a video about it. And now when I'm, I'm, I'm I've been a Seller Plus member for since the beginning, since they launched the program, I've been always Seller Plus. I think it's great because it gives you those extra opportunities. You have coupons, you have like promotions, you have other cool things that you can have. I think it definitely makes it worth, but this is what you can also see from my video right here that the keywords and other factors that you know you can access with the seller plus so this is something that you can see we can also go in the keyword uh, research that they have we can go into digital marketing and we can go to the social media management and you can see for example what is happening here right so this is just kind of like gives us the overall trend of what people are searching i'm quite surprised that a lot of people are searching for pinterest pinterest is big it's a great platform and I think even for you, maybe if you're watching this video and you're thinking which service I should do, you can see here, Pinterest is the highest, right? We can have Pinterest marketing. It's you know pretty, uh, pr pretty high as well. We have marketing, which is um, good, YouTube. We have social media manager, TikTok followers, Instagram manager, right? So all of these things are super competitive. They're searched the most and that gives you a good traction. Let's go back to the top keywords. I wanna go into the social media content creator gig, which we can also see. So you can see pretty much the only gig that I'm getting, um, you know, searched and getting clicks is by social media content creator. And then this is the earnings for the last 30 days. So yes, I would say the first thing, if you wanna get ranked on Fiverr, you need to have multiple gigs. 
if you only have one gig, it actually could work still. And in my opinion, it's good to start with one gig because you can drive some more attention. You can, because when you have multiple gigs, it will take longer to get to the first page compared when you have one gig. Because when you have one gig, you are just driving the attention to that gig. So you're getting customers to that gig. You're trying to, you know, bump it up. And then when you see the gig is actually getting some solid, you know, um, position in the ranking, it's good to open multiple gigs, right? You can do this straight away. I do suggest to open multiple gigs because you have to realize that when you're starting on Fiverr and you're just starting with one gig, you never know if it's going to work or not. Because on Fiverr, when we go into the search, they always have uh, this category, which is, uh, let's go to the social media marketing. They have this category, which is uh, new for new sellers, right? You have new newest arrivals, right? In this case, we have the gigs which have been recently created. And sometimes when you actually create your gigs in multiple categories, you will end up here. And that gives uh, extra exposure for a newer sellers to, to get traffic, right? And also we have recommended. This is a tricky part because first of all, I'm always seeing myself in this buyers keep returning. And I think it's because it plays a major factor in the taller reviews you have, because all of these gigs here, when we go and look at them, uh, they have a crazy high number of reviews. So I think this is one of the biggest factors for that. You can see three over three and a half thousand. My gig has uh, 4,200. This one, it has uh, 1,400. So you can see all of those gigs, they are, they have a really high number of views. So I would say my theory that if you want to get into this sort of special place, you need to have a high number of reviews and also recurring orders. Of course, people should be coming uh, to you again. Next, we have this section here, right? So I think here, if you're ranking high in the best selling, you will most likely end up here as well. In my case, I'm seeing uh, two gigs, three gigs, uh, in this case, four gigs. I'm seeing four gigs in this first page. So that means that you can definitely have multiple gigs on the same page. It's not like Fiverr only gonna put one gig and they're not. In my case, you can see I have one gig here. I have another gig here. I have another gig here. I have another gig here, right? So you can definitely have multiple gigs and that the algorithm, it's totally fine having that. Uh, with the best selling, it's pretty much the same with the best selling, but the best selling, they have some higher criteria because I've been in the recommended for a while now. I've seen myself in the first page for a long time, but in the best selling for the last, let's say 30 days, I've been on the first page, on the second page, on the first page, on the second page. So it's been like this. So I do believe that the private feedback has a huge factor of ranking high, right? This is my sort of theory. Fiverr choice, again, this is a bit tricky one because I haven't seen on my gigs Fiverr choice. I have seen it before, but I haven't seen it lately, although I'm still getting some you know, good feedbacks. It will be interesting because by the time I'm recording this video, actually like today, yesterday, uh, and I'm recording this on the 23rd, I've been getting a lot of feedbacks, like a lot of feedbacks, maybe like 10 feedbacks in the last 20, 48 hours. I'm kind of curious how my gigs going to be ranked because when you receive those feedbacks, it looks like it's not going to happen like straight away. Your gig will re-index. It will actually happen on specific day. So they have a small re-indexing of gigs maybe every other day and it's not going to shift your position much. It's going to maybe shift it just a bit, you know, like let's say you are, for example, you're like here, maybe you'll be there, you know, like just one, two, three spots. But then every week they have some major re-indexing, right? So that where you can be on the second page and then suddenly you become on the first page. And there is no exact strategy formula why. I think, and I'm seeing it's based on the private feedbacks. This is the thing that I can see from my side uh, that, you know, when I'm seeing more positive public feedback, when I'm seeing clients are overwhelmed, like very happy with the work, over delivered, they're ranking my private feedback and I'm getting high, ranked high. But when I'm not getting enough, even if you don't get the bad one, but you're just not getting enough, the other gigs might be getting them and they might be outperforming you. So guys, again, uh, Fiverr is a tricky game. So I will suggest 
to not rely and don't stress yourself too much. Oh, you have to be on the first page, you have to be on the first page. Work on building your profile because Fiverr makes it, it's a reputation, first of all, right? You can, it's like you have your agency. You can go on LinkedIn, you can go on Instagram, on Facebook, you can go on sending people directly email, uh, emails, right? And you can just drive traffic to your Fiverr account. I'm gonna record a video of the strategies that you can do to drive traffic outside, but you have to think about the Fiverr search is great and if you can use promoted gigs, if you can be ranked high enough, that's all great. That's gonna work well, you'll be happy, everything's gonna work. But you have to think about driving traffic outside of Fiverr. So using your personal brand, using your Instagram, using your LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn is probably gonna be the strongest, to be honest, because it has a lot of professional networks and you can really build that strong reputation on LinkedIn. So that's why you need to work on your personal brand. You need to show up, you need to be present, you need to be transparent, because eventually I have clients who are, I'm seeing, they're okay, they're on Instagram, I'm seeing a lot of them, they're on LinkedIn because I'm managing their LinkedIn, right? So I don't see an issue being present there and advertising my Fiverr and my services there so they could come to me. And of course you can use, Fiverr has this uh, way of using a BYOB, bring your own business, meaning that if you can bring someone to Fiverr who never been signed up before, uh, you can have 100% of the money that they'll be paying to you, right? So you won't be giving 20% to Fiverr. But again, that only works for new buyer, meaning that when they came to the Fiverr for the first time, they sign up, uh, using your link and then they will become pretty much for lifetime you will always get 100% uh, payments from them without giving 20% to Fiverr. Guys please feel free to share your feedback your thoughts about how the algorithm works and what you are seeing from your side if you're seeing private feedback could be the major factor if you're seeing orders in queue if you're seeing maybe being responding fast right if you're seeing other things feel free to share because i think that's going to be useful for everyone also please consider subscribing to the freelance hustle newsletter this is the newsletter that i'm excited to kind of continue because i would like to share more tips more strategies go a bit more in depth about those things and i think you will enjoy this type of content as well. If you wanna learn about my sort of strategies, how I do things on Fiverr, I also have a course. I did upgrade it recently as well, so you can have my stand store link as well in the description and you can check it out and I'll be happy to help you. If you have any questions, you can also connect with me on Instagram. You have the link there if you have any question requests. I do try to share some of behind the scenes of my story. So please send me a message if you have any questions. And guys, thank you so much and hope to see you in the next video.